rituals, which included the sacrifice of dogs as well as human beings. Uh, the blood of the slain dogs uh, were was drunk by worshippers um, during the nocturnal ceremonies, and the humans that they had kidnapped were placed on altars, stabbed to death, and then their blood was also drank by the worshippers. Something specific about these sacrifices is that each of the uh, human victims had their hearts removed, uh, which then the worshippers cut up uh, amongst themselves and divided it, and they each ate. So all this stuff Ed had found out in 1969, he kept it to himself because he was in fear of his life, right? He said he found overwhelming evidence about this cult, uh, and he decided to not share it at the time. But almost a, I don't want to say like five or six years later, he ended up writing about it and told the world about it. So is any of this stuff true? Is any of it? Is this four pie cult true? Well, let me tell you some things that I found. Okay, so digging into this deep rabbit hole, let's go back to 1970. This is one year after Ed started finding these reports. So in 1970, in the town of Big Sur, California, an individual named Stanley D. Stanley Dean Baker was driving his truck. Stanley accidentally rear-ended a vehicle, and the person who he rear-ended pulled over. The guy who got rear-ended wanted to exchange, you know, driver's license information and insurance details, but Stanley, he told the driver, he said, hey, I don't have a driver's license and I don't have my 